Schmeekly Properties, nice to meet you. Sorry it's a little rumble tumble out here, but we are on site, so and thank you so much for coming. You know, I'm actually shocked. Most people don't actually. Anyways, I'm really happy you're here. We have a lot of beautiful homes for you today. I'm very excited to show you all the properties within Schmeekly. Uh, my name is Kaylin. Uh, you can call me Kay, you can call me Beyonce, whatever you want to call me. Um, but I will be your realtor, your guide, realtor wizard, if you will, whatever you're feeling, really. But I'm going to guide you through this journey of finding your forever home here within Schmeekly. So let's get going. What was that? Oh, you are. Oh, wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. What's the problem? What's the problem? Oh, I understand. It's, it's kind of confusing. Yes, the, the Schmeekly estates are actually within Schmeekly. Yes, the natural homes within Schmeekly. Um, but don't worry, we'll find your forever home. No need to worry about that. We'll still find your home. I'm sure we have something for you. So why don't you just follow, follow me? We'll find your home. It'll be really good. I'm sure we're going to have a good time. I'll let you in on a little secret. I actually have magic hands. That's right, I know. I am just the best realtor you have ever worked with. Please, not too loud, but we don't want to upset the other realtors. So, just a little quick explanation to my magic hands. My magic hands can conjure up different images with the flick of my wrist. So what I'm doing with that is that I'm just kind of trying to illuminate what I'm trying to explain to you so you can better understand what I'm talking about. So don't be alarmed if all of a sudden images pop out of thin air. It's all right. It's just my magic hands and it's just part of the business. It's what it takes to be one of the best realtors of Schmeekly Reserve. So just rest assured that you are in good magic hands. Let's keep moving. I think you're really, really going to enjoy the homes I have prepared for you today. There's a wide variety, and I'm thinking we can just kind of, kind of roll with the punches with this one. Like, oh, right here, this is a perfect example. Please, follow me, come on, come on. Oh my goodness, would you look at that? This is a perfect example of the, fir the first type of properties that I wanted to show you here today on our open house tour. This is the most common property style that we have here in Schmeekly Reserve, and it's the most common among our residents. These are our nesting properties. They are very versatile, can be used by multiple different species, and come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. Nests can be made from anything from leaves, twigs, fur, fur hair, and sometimes, unfortunately, even garbage. For that reason, it's common among a lot of different animal species. Animals from reptiles, though we don't have many rep nesting reptiles here in Schmeekly, birds, so songbirds are the most common as they have some of the most diverse types of nests. They have anything from domes, the classic style of a nest of a robin, and are very good crafters. Other birds that'll be nesting here in Schmeekle are also some waterfowl. So you might see some nests kind of like this, which is a goose nest, which will be made more from reeds and aquatic grasses that the geeks find near the water. And then we also have the less common small mammal nests. So above me, though they're a bit hard to see, are two small mammal nests high within the tree. So we have, these are called squirrel drays. Squirrel drays, are, is another word for a squirrel nest, and they're made very similarly out of the things that most nesting materials, most nests are made out of. So leaves, twigs, hair, and fur. And these are used primarily to rear their young in the warmer months. Though these squirrels are a bit, a bit bougie, they like to have two homes. Much like the songbirds and the migratory birds that um, pass over Schmeekly, these nests are not permanent. So just like the robin, they'll be leaving their nest when the colder wind, colder months come. But unlike the robin, they won't be migrating south as squirrels are a permanent resident here at Schmeekly. So as squirrels need more protection as they will be going into a hibernation like sleep during the winter called torpor, they're going to need a little bit more protection than just leaves and twigs. So 
That'll bring us to our next property, as squirrels love their warm summer vacation home, but they also still need a more structured, secure home for the winter, which will bring us to our next property. Making our way through the woods, walking good, trying to find you your neighborhood. I don't know if I liked that. Making our way through the woods, walking fast, hoping to get... Nope, that's not good. Not a songwriter, it seems. What about making your way through the woods, looking for a new neighborhood? Da -da 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 -da. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. Making my way through the woods, walking good, trying to find a new neighborhood. No? Okay. You know, well, I'm not a songwriter, okay? I'm a realtor, and a pretty good one. So, why don't we just, why don't we just keep walking? Ooh, me, oh my. It looks like we've come to our second property today, ladies and gentlemen. So as we go through our tour, you'll probably see multiple examples of these property types. This is the Bay Ridge Homes. Now, this is a property that we have located in Sacramento. So what we in the business like to call a snag. And a snag is just a dead tree that is still standing. Snags are excellent habitat and homes for many of the residents just meekly and all throughout the state of Wisconsin. Animals like woodpeckers, possums, raccoons, squirrels. And though this is a dead tree, it's still relatively sturdy. You can see it has a little wiggle room there, but it's still pretty hard to knock over with just some wind. And as you can see, there are multiple openings for a, a nest. So you would still be able to build a nest, so you could use sticks or leaves just with regular nests, but this would be called a cavity nest instead. These holes actually came from one of our very own renovators here at Schmeekly, the woodpecker. Woodpeckers will drill holes into snags and alive trees to get bugs and larvae um, for dinner, breakfast, and lunch. So not only do they use these trees as homes, but they also use them as kitchens. Um, other animals will also utilize these holes to make their nests. Well, would you just look at this? Now this truly is a premier versatile property. This might be a little bit different of a cavity nest than you were thinking. So this cavity nest, as you can see, is maybe not as protected as the one that was standing up still. So this isn't a snag. This is just a downed log, but as you can see there's still a cavity within this. There are still a few animals that will utilize this type of cavity. Lots of animals. We have foxes, bears, deer mice, chipmunks, skunks. All will make nests or burrows or dens underneath logs such as this one. The smaller animals like the skunks or the chipmunks or the mice love this very large spacious opening obviously for obvious reasons it's a very expansive log with multiple holes throughout it these animals love this log specifically because it does create a lot of cover so for the smaller animals this is actually a great deal of cover from aerial predators like hawks or owls that'll be prowling for them at night so this keeps them nice and safe because though owls and hawks do have sharp talons they're not quite as sharp as this log, am I right? Of course I am, I'm a realtor. So, so what do you think of this home? Do you think this is the right fit for you? It, like I said, it's very versatile. You can do a cavity nest in here inside this cavity. You can do a burrow, you can do a den, you can do just about anything with a fallen log. No, not for you? Well, I suppose I do have a few more properties to show you, so let's get to it! Hello? Hello? Oh, there you are! Oh, I thought you had run away! You were running so fast! Are you hiding from me? I see you found another cavity nest to hide in. Someone's been listening. Why don't we just get you out of there? Come on now. Come on, don't struggle. I know you want to see homes. Oh, come this way, come this way. I got something really nice for you. For all you brush lovers out there, this is a steal in the 
As you can see, one of our many beautiful residents just enjoying the beautiful day. Um, ma'am, do you have a moment? Ma'am, ma'am, do you have a moment to tell our wonderful new property owner, potential property owner, about your hubby? Ma'am, okay. You have a great day, ma'am. That's all right. Thank you. She loves it here. She really does. Let's move on. Well, would you look at this? This is exactly what you were looking for. I knew from the moment we met that you weren't gonna be a cavity nester. You weren't gonna be a, just a true nester up in a tree. No, you are gonna be a sub Nivian home. I should have known that, I should have known that. But what was that? What is a sub Nivian home? Oh, well, I'm glad you asked. As you can probably guess, subnivian just means underground. So they're most commonly burrows or tunnels or dens. This one is a bit bigger, so it might be home to groundhog or maybe a badger, but we don't quite have as many badgers in Schmeekly as I would like. We have some other tunnels here in Schmeekly as well. We have crawdad tunnels. Chipmunks will also make burrows or tunnels along with ground squirrels, and snakes will also use tunnels made by other animals. But if this isn't quite your fancy, don't worry. I have a few more subnivian homes to show you. Follow me, let's go. Come on, let's go. Hello? Hi, are you here for the open house? I think they're just still deciding. Yeah, you let me know, okay, sweetie? Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Anyways, let's look over here. So here we have one of those beautiful subnivian properties I was telling you about before. Lovely, very long, a lot of space. But I'm not talking about the log, absolutely not. I'm talking about what's underneath the log, okay? What's underneath the log? Moist earth, lots of grubs, lots of food opportunities, huge pantry options, big kitchen, kitchen area. So, very good for like salamanders, millipedes, a lot of different insect species. Snakes will often uh, sleep under here. Also underneath this bark is a lot of good insect home opportunities as well. But yes, I think you're going to find we have a lot of different habitat types as well here in Schmeekly. We're going to, oh my God, everyone be quiet. Everyone be quiet. Look at this! Oh my goodness, look at it. This is a perfect example of another Submillion home. Now, I don't know exactly what resident made this here at Schmeekly, but I can tell you that it is probably being used by multiple homeowners here. This could be used by chipmunks, ground squirrels, garter snakes, or other reptilian species, and potentially even a crowd ant. But 
I'm sure we can find more examples of some Sumnivian homes for you as we head into the marsh. Let's go. Subnivian home. Look at this. And it's got a, a view. Look at this waterfront property. Could you imagine stepping out of your burrow, just taking in the beautiful Lake Joannis view? It's wonderful. As you can see, it's a bit smaller, so this is probably more of a chipmunk or ground squirrel home as well. This could also be a cronut hole. As you can see, it looks a little bit slippery. And here we have another example of a very versatile property complex. So let's see if you remember. What about this property looks familiar to the properties that we've looked at before? Have you found it? I was thinking more of the, of the cavities or openings that were made by what again? That's right. A woodpecker. So we have cavities for cavity nesters and this obviously if you look on up is not a living tree. So if we remember that's called a snag. So this snag is good for cavity nesters but if you come a little closer it's actually good for something else as well. This has bark still attached but is actually flaking off and has an opening up and under. So this provides even more homes for the residents of Schmeekly. This can provide homes for insects. This can provide homes for bats that like to roost underneath here, and also for mice and other small mammals. So, did we... So, did we find your forever home today? No? Are you sure? Are you sure? Because the brush pot... Okay. But we did see some beautiful poems today, didn't we? Yeah, I figured at least it would be a good experience for you. So maybe next time you're walking through Schmeekly Reserve and you see a snag close to the trail or maybe a, br a brush pile off to the side, instead of just seeing it as a lump of sticks or just a dead tree next to the trail, you'll see it as that squirrel's home or as that snake's home or uh, a shelter, a place for something to feel safe. Because remember, when you're walking through Schmeekly Reserve, you're not just walking through a reserve, you're walking through someone's home. Thank you.